Hi, kindergartners. It's Mrs. Wallstrand here. Today we are going to have our number of the day talk. And today's number is 11. What does 11 look like? That's right. It's a one and a one. So you can write 11 by making two ones right next to each other. Let's take a peek at our number line. And we're going to practice counting to 11. Here we go. Count with me. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Great job counting. Let's count on our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh-oh, what should we do? Let's use another thumb. 11. Great job. We can show 11 in a lot of ways. Another way to show 11 is on our 10 frame. Let's count 11 on our 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And one more would be 11. So we can show that as an equation too. So if I look at my 10 frame, I see my group of 10. Every spot in the first 10 frame is full. So on this line, I'm going to write the number 10. On the second 10 frame, I see one extra one. So on my equation, I want to write a number one on the second line. And this equation reads 10, and the black sign means plus or adding more, one more, and then these two black lines mean equals or how many all together. So we can say 10 plus one more equals 11. And I would write my 11 at the end. So we can say that 11 is equal to one plus 10 or 10 plus one equals 11. We can also do 11 with tally marks. They look like this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and one more would be 11. And whenever I do tally marks, I always like to circle my groups of 10 because that makes it easier for me to count at the end. And there's a few more ways we can show number 10. We could look at our base 10 blocks and we would use one 10 stick just like here, we had one full group of 10 and one full group of 10. And then I would use one extra one to show 11. I could also build it with Unifix cubes. Thanks for checking in with me today for number of the day. I'll see you tomorrow for another number of the day.